hello and welcome back to my channel uh, today we're going to talk about how to remove uh, no data the black background from a satellite image so i have these two folders that contains plant site images and uh, these are the data that are uh, using in this tour so just go ahead and open uh, at GS software and uh, Yes, give it some time. Open. So, uh, so the first thing you need to do is to add the satellite image into the program. So, uh, the first method that we're going to use is to use the symbology method to remove this no data. If we I click on this identifier and click on this uh, black regions, we realize that uh, uh, the region does not have any data. It means that uh, they are not interested in these particular regions. Uh, if we click inside the image, now we see that we have the values. Now we are only interested in these regions that could have values. So I don't recommend this first method. And I've seen uh, numerous uh, videos on YouTube showing that uh, showing this method of removing the black. Yes. What we need to do is right click on the uh, last image layer, the type of content, and then under layer properties, you'll see this symbology tab. Just click on it, and, uh, and we'll, we'll be able to see this display background values. Just make sure that it is checked and the value is zero. Then under display, no data, this one here. Make sure that you choose no color. Then, okay. Then okay. Now uh, the black region is gone, or the no data is gone. But uh, the reason why I do not recommend this uh, method is because if I close down the program and uh, add back this data, will, you know, the region will be back, which means that uh, it is not. So let me open a new document and uh, show you what I mean. Just give it time. So now if I add back the image that I've just removed the you know, data, I add now you'll see that uh, the black region is back, which means it's not the best method to use, and I do not recommend anyone to use it. So let me show you two other methods that are effective and uh, that permanently remove this particular data region. So you're just going to uh, open another new document. Then this time round, let me just use second folder. This one here, and this time round, we are going to use uh, map algebra. Map algebra is a form of it's like writing a script or setting a condition. So just click on a toolbox then go to special analyst tool then just click on this plus symbol to expand and then find the map algebra then expand again 
you see this raster calculator just double click on it now we are going to create uh, an expression on which you're going to set uh, this region uh, the null no data region to null so what we need to do uh, in this map algebra expression we we'll see this under this conditional uh, expressions under conditional expression just uh, select set null by double clicking and then the first parameter you need to add is your landsat image this one here just double click on it and then uh, what we're telling the program is that uh, set null uh, on any value that is less than one so what we're going to do now is to just right there I'll click on this less than symbol and then click add one so you're going to what you're telling uh, this program is that set any region in this particular Landsat image that is less than one to null uh, otherwise if the values are greater than one just print that particular that's an image so double click on it and then output is where you we want to save our image so let me add a new folder then i'm going to call it first result and uh, double click on it so i'm just going to name it landsat1 dot tif don't forget the extension satif so save and uh, click ok so just give it some time then So it seems that uh, the process is complete. If I and if I uncheck that particular uh, data source, now you see that uh, our data is the operation was successful. Now we have successfully moved the uh, no data region. So if now I open a new document let me open a new document and then uh, if I add uh, the image that we have just worked on Now you see that we don't have the uh, black background anymore. So it was the data regions were removed permanently. So let me show you the last method that you can use to perform this particular operation. Just going to open another blank document. So this time around we are going to let me just add let me add the so this time round uh, we are going to copy this Landsat image but we're going to copy it without uh, the uh, data value region so uh, what i'll do I'll just go back to toolbox then go to data management then uh, look for 
raster. Then what we need is uh, raster data set. And a raster, let's look for raster data set. And we want to copy raster. So double click on copy raster. But you can as well uh, find this tool by just searching. You can just click on this and then type in copy raster. So just double click. Now, uh, the raster that we want to the input raster is your Landsat image. And then where we want to save our data. Uh, just going to add in the folder and save it results to like that then just name it one start .tf, don't forget that. Then you can leave these configuration keywords uh, where it is. Then the uh, ignore background value. So what you want to ignore is the zero value. If I click and identify, I don't know if so zero values you want to is what you want to no, just type in zero. No, the background value, type in zero as well. Uh, oh, sorry, I typed it in the wrong. So, the data value, data value, I told you, you click on this identifier, check the values of this background. Black background, you'll see that it's zero. So, what we need is just highlight everything and type in zero now uh, uh, now on this pixel type we need to be very careful so first of all remove say we're going to remove that Say that is zero. And then, and then under pixel type, you need to be very careful. Uh, what you need to do, just right click on the land site image layer, and then go to properties. And, uh, go to general, go to source. Then, if you look keenly, you realize that uh, the pixel type is unsigned integer and the pixel depth is 16 bits. You need to be very careful with this because uh, we have other satellite images that are Landsat images that are 8 bits, uh, 4 bits, 1 bit. So, you need to be very careful. Just right click and then go to properties under source tab. You know, you see the properties of your Landsat image. So for mine, it's unsigned integer. Then the pixel depth is 16 bit. So if you click on this, first of all, you need to close that. Yes, hands on. It's a 16 bit unsigned, that one. Then just click OK. And give it a minute or two. Process the data. And the process is successful. So if I minimize that, now we have a answered image without the black background. So if you if I now open another new document, just confirm is whatever we have done. 
so let me add process as two then image now you can see now that a uh, black background is uh, permanently gone so that's uh, how to use uh, ArcGIS to remove the no data data regions or uh, the black back, black background from the Landsat images. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, remember to subscribe, like, and share. Subscribe, so, uh, also like or smash the notification bell so that uh, whenever I produce another video just like this one, you'll be among the first people to be notified. So thank you for support. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.